Oh howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. There is a strategy that could be completely broken with the Atlas in patch 3.22. I'm hoping that this one gets nerfed, or alternately that it has already been patched out, because in 3.21 this would work. The only problem is that Lava Chamber wasn't on the Atlas. Let's talk about Lava Chamber, Kerak Divination card missions, and why they're broken and why they need to be nerfed, unless GGG have already thought about this. Now, fair warning, this is probably going to get emergency patched if it has not already been patched without a note in the patch notes. There are changes listed in the patch notes that affect a different potential misuse case for Explorer's scouting reports, but they don't touch upon this one. If you complete Lava Chamber, you are permanently locked out of this strategy all league, at least in the main trade league. So don't do this map unless there is a clarification from grinding your games that it is safe to do it because they have gone and nerfed this strategy. This revolves around using Kirak missions and particularly chasing down the Kirak missions that send you into a specific map and tell you to find a set of divination cards. These completely break in Lava Chamber. The reason for this is that Lava Chamber has a very desirable divination card. It only drops from the boss, but Divine Beauty is a boss drop divination card that normally you couldn't get from a trash monster there. But Kirak missions work a little bit differently. And when a Kirak mission says, find the set of divination cards, it picks from all of the cards that could drop in that map, including boss specific ones, plus two additional cards, ever changing and the realm. Ever changing and the realm are not particularly common. We'll come to what these drop weights are later. And once it does that, it picks one of the monsters in the zone and it gives them the full set of div cards. It almost always picks a monster that is not the map boss. Now with an explorer's scouting report, you can force all of your Kirak missions for the next one that you run to all send you into Lava Chamber. There is nothing that's forcing these maps to then have find the divination card set as their objective. It's just RNG whether you get that, but explorer's scouting reports are pretty common. You can afford to use lots of them. So the goal is that you do all of the non-unique maps on the Atlas except for Lava Chamber. Then, these are the cards that can drop in a tier 16 Lava Chamber map. Now some additional cards can drop in lower tiers, but they are banned in tier 16s. For example, Hope, The Trial, Her Mask. All of these are banned in tier 16 maps, they all drop in lower tier maps, and they're more common than the tier 16 only cards that you'll see here. So we have Divine Beauty. Drop weight of 460. Now drop weights have been determined by reverse engineering the formula for stack decks. I'll put a link down in the description below. That research was done by Poor Fishwife, and her research is extremely thorough. So Divine Beauty has a drop weight 460, Burning Blood 91, Lingering Remnants 1921, The Avenger 167, Dragon's Heart 36, Encroaching Darkness 776, The Gambler 4722, The Standoff 5892, and The Tinkerer's Table 193. So if you add all of this up, You've got approximately a 1 in 30, 1 in 33 chance for a random card that's chosen in this map to be Divine Beauty. But if you get one Divine Beauty, you don't get a single copy, you get the whole set. And it seems like the way that these Kerag missions work is that they just pick one of these cards at random. They do take into account the relative rarity of these cards with no condensing factor, but they don't normalize for the set size. And if you get one copy of the card, you actually get the whole set instead. So about 1 in 30 times that you run a Kirak mission in Lava Chamber that says find the set of divination cards, it's going to be Divine Beauty. Every time you hit this, it's going to be 7 Divine Orbs. Needless to say, if this goes live, it is going to really, really transform the League economy. Now if it stays live all League, this is going to be fair for all players, but if it doesn't stay live all League, it's going to be extremely disruptive. And that's the reason that I am bringing this to the attention of the wider player base, is really to try and get it emergency nerfed before it goes live. To be honest, I probably should have made a video about this earlier, but I completely forgot about it until it came up on a live stream recently. This is going to be really problematic if it goes live. It's not going to be fun. It's just going to be infuriating for the people that miss out on it. And if you don't find out about this strategy in time, and you, heaven forbid, actually complete Lava Chamber like a normal player would, then you'll find yourself completely locked out of engaging with this strategy, which might mean that you feel compelled to make an entirely new account in order to play the league properly. That's why it needs to be nerfed, because it's broken and it won't be fun. That's all I've got on this. May your Explorer's scouting reports have uninteresting results, because hopefully Grinding Gear Games will nerf this before it goes live.